Thanksgiving, everybody. I want to thank you all for being so kind to me and our team. You know, you guys have been great, so I really appreciate it you guys. Uh, guys had a great meal last night. They were good spirits today. Today was focused on short yardage, red zone, and goal line. Uh, we had a very good practice there. Guys are going home with their families uh, to appreciate their families. The guys from out of town will go eat with the players that are, that don't have families in town, and uh, everybody's excited about the day. Everybody's excited to come back for a very, very big game for our Trojan family. How many pieces of cheesecake did you eat? Well, you know, we stayed We stayed over. I uh, wish we could have went, but we stayed over and worked on short yardage, red zone, and goal line, but the team had a great time, and Jeff <laughs> brought me back too, so I did eat both of them. <laughs> uh, what's your thought going into this game on how your running game will, uh, you know, help things going into the yeah. I feel good about a running game. I feel good about uh, the running backs. I feel good about our offensive line, one of the most improved groups on our team. Uh, obviously, we have a, uh, a tough battle. Uh, they're very good up front. They're very solid. And uh, But it needs to play a significant part in the game. Practice been a little different through the holiday week? You know, the guys have focused in really well on the task at hand. Uh, times are different only for yesterday and today. I can tell the difference. I happened there early in the morning. A little, a little, uh, not, not as much juice at 7 o'clock as it was at 3 o'clock. And, uh, but they're ready. You know, they understand why we wanted to do this. We actually gave them the option what time they wanted to practice. The guys wanted to practice early in the morning so they can go over their families. It's like you had uh, Marcus Allen out here today talking yes. to the team. What was the thinking behind that? You know, well, he volunteered. He called me. He said, Coach, what time are you practicing? I'm driving down from Santa Barbara. He drove down from Santa Barbara just to say hello to the team. He means the uh, world to us, but part of the Trojan family. Uh, he's been instrumental uh, ever since we've taken over here as interim coach, and uh, he's helped me out a bunch. I really appreciate him as a friend, as a Trojan. He means a lot to our team. Was that a uh, message specific to the UCLA game today? or what? I think it's his message in general about being a Trojan, about what it takes and how proud he is of them as a family and how they play and what it takes to, to be a Trojan, to be a champ, and uh, he talked to him about that. Did you get on him about wearing a shade of blue? Uh, you know what? I was in a very kind mood today, <laughs> and uh, the, I, I've let the blue thing slip a couple of times this week. And uh, just as long as we win the game, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> How does this rivalry compare with other rivalries that you've been a part of, Fayetteville yeah. and Miami, Florida State? I think it's one of the best rivalries in college football, and uh, just because so, it's so close. I, I would say in comparison to Miami, Florida State, I wouldn't say one's better or the other. Uh, this one's more important, obviously, because I'm here. <laughs> but back then, you know, it was national championship uh, implications, and there were big games. But this is a huge game for the Trojan family. It's more of a magnitude. Uh, uh, it means a lot for us about uh, to win this game. We totally understand that. You asked a lot of the seniors and kind of draft eligible juniors this week if they've given much thought to the fact that this could be their last game in the Coliseum. Does any of those kinds of thoughts run through your mind? Uh, that it might be my last game? No, not at all. Take it one game at a time. We said, hey, we're going to play eight games one game at a time. Let the chips fall. And may. I'm not even thinking about Sunday. And Saturday is the most important day after today and Friday. That's all we're thinking about. We've, uh, I, I know this. When we walk out of the stadium on Saturday night, I feel that this group of men, these coaches, and our players have given everything they possibly can, just like we said we would. And uh, that's a satisfying feeling. When you do walk out on Saturday night, you think a, with a win, would it mean more or be bigger than the Stanford win? I won't say that. I'm not going to say that at all. Uh, they all will beat us. Uh, obviously, beating UCLA is something that's one of our goals here. Uh, we'll see. I, I can tell you that on Saturday night uh, after the result of the game. <laughs> Good. Guys, have a happy day.